Hi, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the pre-accident investigation safety moment. Well, today's moment, I think, is interesting because I was reading, what's that thing called, LinkedIn? It's kind of Facebook for work. It's like Facebook, but there's less personal junk on it. I'm not really sure how to use it, but anyway, I was looking at it, and somebody started a conversation, and the question they ask is, what is the definition for safety? And they got like 371 hits, and pretty much all of them said the same thing. I, I saw this one a lot. It's a, it's a pretty common de- definition. F- safety is the freedom from unnecessary risk, or safety is people go home with all their fingers and toes, or safety is not getting hurt or not having an accident or freedom from accidents. All those, I guess, are good definition of safety as an outcome, but I don't think safety is an outcome. And one of the things that bugged me about this LinkedIn column, and maybe the reason I'm talking to you about it, is because I think if we see safety as something to be achieved, we've probably set our entire organizational structure around safety, reliability, quality, environmental, all those things we manage. We've probably set it up wrong. I've asked this question a million times. But while you're driving your car... How do you know you're safe enough? Any answers? Come on, this is your chance. The quick answer is, until you get to your parking space, you don't really know if you were safe enough until your journey's over, you get out of your car, and you either made it or didn't make it. Safety is not an object to be achieved. Safety is a process that we constantly manage Because safety is directly related to risk. And risk ebbs and flows. It moves in and out. Risk is incredibly fluid. We'll talk about that more. Here's my advice. Safety is not the absence of accidents. Safety is the presence of capacity within any system, in any organization, to fail safely, to fail forward. That definition is much, much, much more accurate and, believe it or not, probably lots easier for a worker to actually manage. Asking a worker to not get hurt does not directly lead to no worker being injured. Think of it that way and challenge yourself. The definition of safety is not an outcome to be achieved but a process that is constantly being managed. Safety is not the absence of accidents. It's the presence of capacity, the capacity to fail forward. That's a short little safety moment for you, operational excellence moment if you care, and that's just for you to think about. Have a great day today. Do something super fun. Learn a ton, and for goodness sakes, be safe. Whatever that means. (laughs) See you later.